Hello, welcome back. We're continuing to learn how to solve systems of equations by graphing. It's exactly the same song and dance as it was in the last lesson. It's just that some of these uh, systems will be inconsistent or dependent systems, so we can kind of see how it shakes out when you get uh, to, to see some systems of equations that aren't quite so well behaved. So let's just take a look at the first uh, set of equations for the system. x plus y equals 3x minus 1. And the other part of the system is x minus y is equal to 1 minus x. Now the first thing you might do is you might look and say, these do not look like lines, these look nothing like anything I've seen before. And it is true that the form of this equation doesn't quite look like standard form, and it definitely doesn't look like mx plus b form, same thing here. But the deal is, you know that they're lines, even though I haven't put it in flashing signs, symbols for you, I mean you know they're lines, because this equation involves only x's and y's, and the only powers are, are 1's. So I can combine the x terms, and I can move everything around so that I have y equals, and then some x's on the other side, and I can do the same thing here. So you know that there are lines, all you have to do is just clean up the system of equations. I mean the truth is, if we give you all the equations in uh, you know, mx plus b form, it's just too easy for you to see what's going on because you can see the slope and the y-intercept. So a lot of times you'll be given problems that look a little weird, and you have to, to start by rearranging them. So let's leave the y on this side, because that's where we want them, and let's move the x to the other side. So you have 3x minus x minus 1. All I did was subtract x from the left and subtract x from the right. And when I carry out the subtraction, 3 minus 1 is 2x minus 1. Now this looks an awful lot like a line, right? So you see this equation and this one are the same thing. It's just that I've kind of made this one hard to read, for lack of a better word. And you have to clean it up a little bit. Uh, and that's going to be on you. Nobody's going to tell you everything that you need to do. So here I'm going to leave the y alone, but don't forget it's got a minus sign in front. You can't just get rid of it. Let me subtract the x over here. So I'm going to have 1 minus x from here, and then I'll subtract another x like this, and I'll carry out the subtraction in the next line. Minus x minus x is going to be minus 2x. But I have this negative sign. So I'm going to divide by negative 1. So 1 over negative 1 minus 2x over negative 1. So what do I have here? 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. Now these become a positive, because they're multiplied together there, so it would be positive 2x. And then of course I'm going to switch the order here, it would be 2x minus 1. So I get y is equal to 2x minus 1, and that's exactly what I had for the other equation over here. So without graphing anything, you know right away this is to totally different than what the, the, other, uh, the other systems of equations that we've looked at in the last section. But we did talk about um, dependent systems before. If you get your equations down to the point, where you're trying to graph them and they end up being the same equation, what it means is that all of the points that are on this line satisfy this equation are the exact same set of points that are also on this line because they're the same thing. So what it means is there's an infinite number of solutions. They're all, all the points on either line is the solution to the other one because it's the same line, right? So because of that, all you really need to do is write down uh, that they're infinite solutions and because of that, it's a dependent system of equations. You can write that down. Now, just to be complete, I am going to graph it just because. So here we have negative 1 for the y-intercept. We'll do it real fast. There's negative 1. The slope is 2, which is 2 over 1. So rise over run. We go up 2 over 1, and there we go. And we can put our little straight edge in here. We're not going to be too precise. And that's what we have. So what we have here is if I was really going to do it properly, I would graph this line, which would be...